Hello, shalom. I am coming to you from beautiful Lake Michigan on my new toy. I got a stand up paddle board. I wanted to just make a quick video today because it is my one year anniversary, birthday, whatever you want to call it. One year since I got kicked out of the JW synagogue. And that's so crazy. It feels like it was at least five years ago. I'm like, it was only a year that I was meeting with the elders. Life is good. It hasn't been linear, but nothing really is. Embrace the waves, right? I'm on this stand-up paddleboard, but I'm not standing up because it's pretty wavy today and I'm super newbie. I did finally successfully stand up, um, but I did fall in today. So I'm, I'm shooting this video from a seated position. Anyway, I kind of miss, I kind of miss making videos, but the reason I don't make that many videos anymore is because I find myself self censoring a lot. I'll internally rehearse like a conversation idea that I find interesting. So I figure, well, if I find this interesting, maybe somebody else will. But then when I go to like pull out my phone or something, I'm like, nah, maybe I should just leave that to myself. It's August 1st, 2020. And unless you are literally living under a rock, the entire planet has been on COVID-1984 lockdown mandatory masking, social distancing, blah, blah, blah. And I went through the grieving process with that too. Um, maybe I'll make a video about that in a little bit, but basically I just wanted, woo, hi. He's like, you're in my space. I just wanted to <clears throat> say hello. Thank anybody for subscribing and viewing. Thank you for coming along the ride with me over the last year, year and a half. I was marked as an apostate in May 2018 without any... By the way, if you're just jumping on this channel now and you're like, who is this person? I was a Jehovah's Witness. I was born in. I was in the religion corporation cult for almost four decades. And I started questioning everything I had been taught and my beliefs and my entire view of reality in my late 30s and it was it was a trip it is a trip it's it's a trip and I don't think the trip is going to end that's not the point the point is to stand up and lean into the wind and sometimes sit down and enjoy the waves. Many analogies could be said here. I just am very grateful. There's been tears along the way, but the most beautiful part of this has been the friendships. My new brothers and sisters, my family. Yeah, I lost stuff too. I lost people. Maybe that is temporary, but I am I am choosing to listen to Jesus' words of look forward, set your plow blade in the, in the ground, and don't look behind. And trust me, there are many days where I do find myself looking behind a lot. I'm going to make a video maybe today or tomorrow because I, I received a media clip of my, my good old friend Robert Hendricks. JW Media spokesperson. If, I'll, I'll put the link below, but I had a about a 30 minute conversation with him last year as I was being tried for apostasy because I got baptized in this lake, in this water, in the name of the Father, ooh, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And for that, I got kicked out of the Jehovah's Witness religion and I'm shunned and blah, blah, blah. 
I'm so excited about all the, the new people making videos and coming out and, and finding their voice and, and sharing their experiences. Thank you. I'll put a couple links below of some new, new channels that have come out recently. And yeah. I'm gonna leave you with a view of the lake and just a special hello to Ruth Moram. I love this lady. I don't know why more people aren't watching her videos, but she is so centered in grace and critical thinking and kindness in her videos. I personally think that I can be rather snarky and obnoxious sometimes. I'm sorry, I'm working on it, <laughs> but I don't think I'll ever completely work it out. Yeah. Uh, I'm just so happy out here, but I got to paddle north because the wind is coming from the north. I realized this morning, so I, I packed up my paddleboard. I got, ooh, I've just drift, drifted quite a bit. I, I got on my paddleboard, uh, and there was a person on the sidewalk. She's like, oh yeah, this will be a good day because the wind is coming out of the north. If it was coming out of the west, it would blow you into the lake, and then it's really hard to paddle back. And I was like, oh, I should probably check these things before I get on this paddleboard. Oh, I love it. Wherever you are today... Even if it's really stormy and cloudy and I'm, and I'm speaking figuratively, the sun is shining above the clouds. And sometimes you just need a friend to remind you of that. So I thank all the people who've reminded me of that on, on really stormy days that I have. And let's just keep, let's just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Ciao for now, shalom. Mm-hmm. <laughs>